Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 running Retro Pi 3.7 and I want to show you how to set up and use your Neo Geo emulator. Now, first thing we need to do is go into our Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi. Go to the Retro Pi menu. Scroll down till we see Show IP. You need to open your Show IP you need to copy your IP address down. Now, you're gonna need this just in case we can't get into the Raspberry Pi over network with another way that I'm going to show you. So just remember that IP address, take a picture of it if you have to. So this is RetroPi 3.7. I am using a Bluetooth PS3 controller. I am also connected to the same exact network as my computer. The computer that I am using to transfer my ROMs and BIOSes from. So just remember your IP address and we're going to move to the computer right now. Alright, so there's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need some Neo Geo games. You can find them or you can rip them yourself. And you're going to need a Neo Geo BIOS. Now the Neo Geo BIOS needs to be named just like this. Neo Geo and it needs to be zipped. It is a zipped file that you need. Do not, un do not extract it, do not unzip it. So in order for us to transfer our ROMs over to the Raspberry Pi, we're gonna open up a Explorer window here in Windows. We're gonna go up to the top, to the search bar, and we're gonna type in backslash, backslash, all capital, Retro Pi and press enter. Now this should bring you into your Raspberry Pi as long as you're connected on the same network as the computer you are transferring your BIOS and your ROMs from. So inside of here we have a BIOS, configs, ROMs, and splash screens folder. Now if you were not able to access your Raspberry Pi using the backslash backslash Retro Pi, we can just go to the search bar, backslash, backslash, and type in the IP address that you guys just remembered. Now that should bring you right back into the screen. So my old IP address a few days ago was here. One of them was here. Your IP address will change over time with your Raspberry Pi. So just note that if you cannot get in, check your IP address again. Usually, I have really good luck by doing my backslash backslash retro pi, and that'll bring me right into here. So I'm going to snap this to over here, and I'm going to open up my, Geo, my Neo Geo ROMs folder, which contains my games and my BIOS. I'm going to take my BIOS, and I am going to put it inside of my BIOS folder on my retro pi. So we need to have our Neo Geo BIOS inside of our BIOS folder on the RetroPie. Next, I'm going to open up my ROMs folder here. I'm going to scroll down until I see Neo Geo. I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna copy all of my ROMs. Now they stay zipped. The ROMs that I need for my Neo Geo and I'm just gonna pull them over here. Okay, my ROMs are transferred to my Neo Geo, my ROMs, Neo Geo. We're going to go open up the Neo Geo ROMs folder one more time, and we want to put our BIOS in the same folder as you put your Neo Geo games. So we're going to take that zipped Neo Geo BIOS, drag and drop it. Now we have it inside of our ROMs and inside of our BIOS folder. Now I'm not sure if we need it in both spots, but it works for me, so I always just throw it in both spots, and I have no trouble running these games. You are now ready to start your Neo Geo emulator on your Retro Pi, your Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna go back to the Pi now. Okay, so when you go back to the Raspberry Pi, you need to reboot one time in order to show our Neo Geo emulator in our BIOS. So we are going to press start 
on your controller. Quit. Restart emulation station. Yes, I really want to restart. We're going to scroll over till we see our Neo Geo emulator. I'm going to press X on my controller. Now I have all the ROMs that I just installed into my Neo Geo folder. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 does not work. I actually did not mean to transfer that over. This is a different game here. But, Metal Slug, Metal Slug X, SNK vs. Capcom. We're going to do SNK vs. Capcom. So we're going to hit, we're going to start the game. And at this menu here, we're going to press A again. We're going to scroll down till we see Select Emulator for ROM. And you want to make sure you are on the final burn alpha, the F L R F B A. Now I have had really good luck with this, with the L R F B A. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to exit without launching. So now I'm just going to launch uh, SNK versus Capcom for the Neo Geo. And you'll get this weird looking screen. Don't freak out. Here we are. So like I said before, I have a wireless PS3 controller. And in RetroPie 3.7, the controls are set up for me. There's no extra configuration that I need to do. Now, if you need to configure your controller, you need to find out the key values. This is a whole different story here. Finding the key values of the controller you're using going back to your configuration file and editing the Neo Geo controller config. But if you're using a Xbox 360 wired controller or a PS3 controller, you should have no problem. We're gonna press select on the PS3 controller to insert a coin. And if you look at the bottom, we have credits, zero, one there, two, three, four. I'm just inserting coins here. I'm gonna press start on my PS3 controller. I'm gonna press start again. We are now ready to play SNK versus Capcom. Now I'm going to choose, you know it. And this is a non overclocked Raspberry Pi 3 and these games run really really good oh my god now I'm using my d-pad to control my character here Ah, I almost had him. Now I'm going to press start and select on my controller. That will bring me out of the game. I'm going to start uh, Metal Slug 4. We'll just hit A on your controller or X, whatever you have it mapped to when you configured your controller and in the initial setup of RetroPie. Now, like I said, insert coin with select, press start to play on the PS3 controller. And through here, you can just hit your X button or whatever you map your X or A button to. Now my A button is mapped to my O button on my PS3 controller. You can do however you'd like. I'm gonna be Nadia here.
Ah, man. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to press start and select. So, I'm going to start Metal Slug 4 again, but we're going to up the resolution. I'm going to press A on my controller. I'm going to press A again real quick. We're going to scroll down. Now, through here, I use my keyboard to scroll down. I'm going to choose my video mode for this emulator plus this ROM. We'll press enter. And I am going to try it at 1920 by 1080. Now, this might not work, but we're going to try. We're going to launch. These games were not meant to run at this resolution, so... So I guess it was already set to 1080, 1920, unless this emulator will not do it. But it looks the same to me. If you are lagging, then you can always set your resolution down. You can lower it in the settings I just showed you. And I'm going to press start and select. So that's it, guys. That's how you run Neo Geo games on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. I'm on RetroPie 3.7 with the Raspberry Pi 3. It's pretty much as simple as setting up any other emulator. You just need to remember that you need your Neo Geo.zip BIOS file inside of your Neo Geo ROMs folder. I also place the Neo Geo BIOS zip inside of my BIOS folder within RetroPie. And everything just seems to work pretty well. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or send me a private message. If you have any requests on emulator setup for the Raspberry Pi running RetroPie, let me know and I will get a video made soon as possible. If you guys want to, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.